Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Fizz Femme. And today we're gonna to be talking about comb coils versus two strand twists and what's the benefits of them both. Yes, yeah, so if you definitely wanna know about that, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment, and um, definitely let's start a community conversation in the description box below or you can just leave me a nice comment and let me know that you like this video and would like to hear more and if you have any other questions that does have any nothing to do with this video that's fine too you can leave it in the comment box below so let's get into it okay so I'm gonna be looking down a little bit because I have my notepad all right, so comb coils versus two strand twists for your locks. Um, for me, it was a no brainer because I like to, I will, I wanted to wet my hair every day. The benefits of locks for me is like, I could go into the shower if I wanted. You know, sometimes it's therapeutic to, for me, it's therapeutic for me to stand underneath the shower, just have it rinse everything off of me. Like I, I really use the shower as a, therapy type of mechanism for me and so um when i was deciding to do my locks um i referred back to when i started my cousin's locks and my boyfriend's locks and in their hair i started it with um we call them corkscrew where my mom is from she calls them corkscrews but in the u.s they call them comb coils so um i started his hair and my cousin's hair with comb coils because they hair was their hair was really really short and I could not pick it up to do two strand but for my hair I have 4C I believe 4C type hair I never really went by that chart but if I have to relay my hair to somebody else I always used to look at like Frederick Douglass or somebody my hair is like really really thick and if you don't know who Frederick Douglass is just look him up he has some thick beautiful hair okay so um I decided okay you know what I think I want to go with uh, two strand twists because I feel like I could wet that a little bit more every single day so that's what I went with um, comb coils are a little different versus I feel like comb coils are a little bit neater too like comb coils they just have a uniform look all the way down the shaft like okay if you could look at my hair you could still kind of see that two strand pattern and I feel like it will make it look a little bit fatter I don't know why I just feel like two strand twists give you more body versus like a coil just straight down I don't like neat hair period so I was just like okay let me go with the two strands so if you are into the cohesive straight look um I try to find some pictures to show you what I mean of somebody who have I think has um comb coils versus you know my hair where I have two strand twists and there are a lot of other youtubers on here who started with two strand twists and we yes you could still see it a little bit in my hair but um I don't know I just felt comfortable doing it that way so that's why I went with two strand twists because I know I wanted to wet it every day and I know I wanted it to look a little fuller because I didn't want to lose no thickness. I know in the beginning your hair looks thinner than usual like right now, you know, but um, it definitely fattens up after probably a week of my new retwists and stuff like that. Okay, and then uh, I also let you guys know I have 4C here and I didn't have um, a certain amount of locks i wanted to get i just my mom been doing my hair since before i was five so she knows the way the shape of my head she knows how much um where to place stuff and everything the only issue i had was one of them was really skinny in the front so i kind of um i merged it over here but other than that she knew what to do with my head so i just let her do a thing i always do that and i ended up having in a brick layer pattern so if you don't know what brick layer is let me see maybe i could draw a diagram Oop, let's drop my notebook like i'll put it in brick layer is basically like if you have a straight line and then in between those boxes you put another another piece of hair i'm very 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 adamant about retwisting my hair let's see i retwist my hair every month since I've started so I didn't wait 
um, two months to retwist. As soon as my, I saw a new growth, I retwisted my hair. I just do what's comfortable to me. Um, so that's every month or so. Um, once my hair grows out a little bit, I'll start doing styles myself. And if you want to see how to get some styles in your short locks, I have a video on that too. I will link my lock playlist and you can just go through it and find all these videos. But yeah, I do styles of my hair throughout the month when it gets a little fuzzy or I'll wear a scarf. And by the time, so now that I did my hair yesterday, which was November, I did my hair November 4th, right? So I'll definitely be doing my hair December 4th. And that's how it goes, like a reach, like a hard retwist but like a, I do soft retwist when I'm doing styles like I said I'll lock it I'll leave it in the description box below my lock playlist and I do anything to just keep it from being manipulated a lot so yeah that's what I've been doing the benefits of the two strand twist are you can wet your hair every day um it doesn't open as fast it's easier to maintain by yourself and um yeah that's it <laughs> that's that's pretty much it yeah i have i had 87 i merged two locks um yeah two strand is the way to go i feel like the only thing with that is you're gonna still be seeing the pattern for a little bit but i wasn't concerned with my hair honestly when i started locks i wasn't concerned with an ugly look a in between look an awkward look you know some days so pretty and then some days I'm just like but I never had that moment where you know I wanted to turn back I wanted to say oh my god what did I do like I'm not I never had that moment um, I sometimes do miss length but right now for me um, personally I'm not I don't want to put anything on them yet I think maybe for christmas but i keep saying maybe four maybe four maybe four and i never add anything because i like the butterfly locks and i was like maybe i can do butterfly locks over mine but i don't want to taint it's like i don't want to put hair from a manufacturer right now because i've been doing that for so long i i just feel like i like the style but i'm trying to i'm going through a back and forth like do we want to put that energy on my hair and like my hair my brain is like no but then my eyes be like yes girl you know you want to have them long hairs but i don't know it's looking like a no today for me but you know i get i get in my bed and then i look at stuff on youtube and you know how that is but um yeah i haven't had any difficulty with any of my two strands opening except for the bottom row the bottom row has opened a couple times and I think that's because it's just shorter back there and when I do styles I don't like grabbing the back of my hair to like soft twist it so like this month I I took forever to retwist my hair and um, they opened up even though that's not what this video is about we went on a tangent but yeah so my what I like is a two strand twist i suggest starting off with a two strand twist unless you're into the sleek look and just know that when you do get the comb coils you can't wet your heads often as far as i know uh, i've been doing my research a lot of people who had comb coils did not wet their hair when my cousin when i did my cousin's hair with comb coils she did not wet her hair every day my boyfriend could not wet his hair every day i wanted to wet my hair every day i'm talking about every day okay and that's how i got my hair to lock it's okay to wet your hair every day when i mean every day i mean every damn day spray your hair saturated with water because what it does is stretch and then it scrunches back up when it's really dry stretch drinks better and that's making it matted okay that's what a lock is a lock is a matted formation together and that's why everybody's always afraid of putting too much product in there and stuff like that because um they don't want it to get stuck in the lock because remember it's just a matted situation going on so you want to make sure that there's nothing in there that you can't get out because picking your locks no you're just destroying your lock 
you're ripping the hair out one little piece of hair is connected to the whole damn thing so it just don't waste your time try your best not to put any product in your hair if i could give if i could give any advice it's to stay away from product like i learned that from doing my boyfriend's hair he um i started him off with jamaican castor oil um jamaican jamaican you, you you guys know what i'm talking about there's this jamaican something i haven't used it in his hair since then and after i started seeing build up i was like ew and his hair was short so i started looking it up and everybody was like no do not use jamaican and lime or something like that i don't use that i started researching 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 doing his locks and this guy was like yo you gotta use this um flaxseed try flaxseed didn't like it tried aloe didn't like it aloe works for a lot of people though so if you are somebody that wants something you can use flaxseed gel or aloe and it definitely does help with keeping your retwist in but for him his retwist stays with water so that's when i when i decided to lock my hair that night i was like oh, i know what i'm doing i'm not using no product i'm using water and oil and just keeping my hair as clean as possible as light as possible because I hear that, you know, your locks can get heavy and I think it gets heavy because of the dirt, you know, like anything, anything dirty feels a little bit heavier. Like when it's time for me to wash my hair, which is not as much as I used to have to wait when I had braids and stuff like that. My hair is mostly light all the time. I, I feel nothing on my head and I feel like that's what <laughs> makes me feel so good. So yeah, guys, if you definitely want to know which one I recommend, I recommend two strand twists even though i love my boyfriend's locks he just had so much trouble um with his hair opening and stuff like that i recommend two strand twists and yeah so thank you for watching and if you have any other questions for me i'm going to leave my instagram right here and you can dm me or you can also leave a comment in the description box and i will get back to you and yeah leave me some questions so i can answer them I was all over the place in this video. I planned on writing everything down in our notebook, but I only jotted down a little bit of notes and I'm hoping that this is not too long. So yeah, I love them. <laughs>